They're doing well, man. It, it It's easy to sleep well when you know you've done the right thing. <laughs> There's zero doubt in my mind that Andrew is <laughs> zero. You want to hear zero. some real slurping? Um, oh, my God. This biggest, guy is. The biggest dilemma I think that we're looking at right now is not whether they're innocent or not. It's whether they're going to get a fair shake. Whether whether it's actually going to be a fair trial. You know, they're, look, they're, when you walk in, uh, I said this yesterday on a podcast. When you walk into their front door, you walk about 10 steps. There's a little mini bar. And then you walk into the big living room where he did that final message on Rumble. And if you look directly to the left, there's about a 70 inch TV with 20 little screens show like all the camera footage is there. If they need evidence, Andrew could give it to him. Why not just use that? Mm. It's very, very clear. And, and then here's another thing. If you look at the allegation itself, on what planet do two six foot three, six foot four multimillionaires, handsome as world traveled, speak well, articulate gentlemen need to do that? That's mm. literally how they got famous, you why do these guys suck each other up? You can't call me a gay dude when these guys are on the platforms, okay, with knees that are scraped and bruised because of how often they spend time on them sucking each other off over this red. It is honestly the I've ever seen in my life. Nothing in my life is more than all this red pill shit and how much these guys suck everybody off in the, in the community. It's actually insane, dude. Oh, you know, if it was proven that the Tate brothers withheld passports from the girls. My understanding is that that claim came from a DM from somebody else talking about it. So I haven't seen anything ultra credible about the passport holding, but there was somebody so, else that talked to them um, that that mentioned it, but I haven't seen a good, like, I wouldn't, I don't think you should repeat that claim. That doesn't seem to be a strong claim right now. They could be, but yeah. You know. So that's what, that's where I think like, if that's true, then mm -hmm. they are in the wrong. If that's not true, and those females had free will, like actual free will, I would say that they didn't do anything technically legal. Well, hold on. What you mean to say is they didn't do anything that you consider wrong because it's still clearly illegal. Or you are I don't know law, though. It's not so Romanian law. It's every okay. type of law. If I go up to you and I offer to sell you snake oil and you buy it, you didn't have to buy it from me, but I'm still a f***ing scammer. How is it so hard for you guys to understand? I don't understand that. So, okay. It's the deceitful part I that makes it you... a crime. It doesn't matter how much agency you have. If I go to a girl and I say, listen, baby, I love you. Can you come here? Let's get married. Blah, blah, blah. She comes here and I'm like, oh, what's up? Talk to my friend. She's cool. And I lie about what she came here for. I lie about that relationship with that friend. And the other friend is like, Brett, dude, we should like do camming stuff. It's really fun. It's really cool. And they're like, hey, we should. We can get rich together. Blah, blah, blah. If I run that scheme with 30 girls, that's sex trafficking. You might not think it's wrong and they can technically leave, but that's deceit. You're lying. You're scamming somebody. That's what the whole point is. It doesn't so... matter if they have agency or not. Go ahead. I think, Destiny, Go ahead. in regards to sex work and sex trafficking, right? Okay. So there are websites that you can apply as a male or a female for mm -hmm. different sex jobs, right? And in one of their disclaimers on these websites, it says specifically before you actually accept DMs from anybody or before you say, hey, go out and do this or get flown out and do this, always ask for accolades in regards to that. So in your point of like a relationship standpoint, I don't know when these girls got approached by the Tates, but wouldn't you argue that if they were that popular and they knew their name, wouldn't it be on like them to research these that the Tates in general and see that these things have been coming up and know that, oh, it's probably not a good idea to go hang out with the Tate brothers. Yeah, you but know the whole saying? point is you can get a girl to fall in love with you anyway. Like, look at but the girls that I still like, catch. That's manipulation but and deceitful, at, but... Yeah, that's manipulation and deceitful. Look at how many girls still, like, hang out around me, despite the fact that, like, Mr. Girl's DMing everybody and blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of red flags around me, a lot of public drama I have, right? And I'm not even trying to, like, manipulate or mind girls. Like, I could probably eat... I could start my own webcam and mind a bunch of chicks and think that they're in love with me and then go to sell their bodies and shit. Like, I could probably do that. Maybe. Like, the Tates definitely could do that. And, and they did do that. Well, yeah, because of status. Yeah, status but, yeah, but they deal. had status. That was the point. A lot of the girls that got so, damned by them were like, whoa, they, he's damning me. Oh my God, like, that's so cool. I feel so special. That was the point. It doesn't matter if they got a history of doing something so that the guys can convince the girls otherwise, which isn't that hard when you're super rich and when you're really charismatic and when you know women really well and when you look really good, which I think these guys, like, blew out of the park 100%. Okay, but do you think they should be in prison for it? Yeah, it's legal. Or, uh, well, it's illegal. It's it, it's sex trafficking. If is you think, it a moral thing or is it actual law thing? You know what I'm saying? Well, both. I think it's immoral and it is okay. illegal. Yes, that's the whole point. To make it sex trafficking, there has to be an element of deceit involved. And they were lying. They were misrepresenting the types of relationships they were looking for, which makes it sex trafficking.
All right, fair enough. Uh, the only thing I'd also well, no, no, I think hold, hold on. To be clear on these conversations, were you guys, were you red pillars? I don't know if you're red pillar, okay? But you guys should no, just no, do no, no, man. I was actually asking questions. Okay, I, sure. I lean whatever way. I don't really get. Really yeah, that's know, fine. To be honest. But I think that I think the reality is, is what most people want to say, is that they don't actually think sex trafficking should be illegal. They what they what they are trying to say is that like if the girls are stupid enough to fall for it, then they should be stupid enough to get trafficked. That's what people really mean, but they just don't want to say it. Um, it's like the same thing if like just because I'm stupid enough to buy drugs doesn't mean I'm not like doing something illegal or, or like the drug dealer isn't doing something illegal right is that like kind of similar a analogy bit, yeah. or no? but I'm just saying like I remember when I was in the car with Pearl I tried to get her on this because I was asking her like a million times I was like because because eventually she was saying well if the girls could leave it's not a big deal I was like that doesn't whether or not they could leave doesn't make it a scam or not like every I guess, scam like, I don't involves understand like the law of sex trafficking too much in regards to that I don't understand that law well, I just told I, you I mean, in Romania and it's probably yeah. true in a lot of places around the world if you bring somebody to an area for the purposes of extorting them, meaning using them to make money to sell them for sex-related services, and you do it under a deceitful or coercive or abusive guise, the deceitful one is one of them. Um, if you do it under deceit, that's considered sex trafficking. It's super simple. It's really easy. So if I bring you to another country and I say, let's get married, baby, we can make a lot of money, we'll be fine. I don't have any intention of marrying you or anything. I'm just trying to start a sex trafficking with you. Then that's sex trafficking. Super easy. Okay. But I think what you want to say is that like, well, I don't think that should be sex trafficking. The girls could have looked them up they could have left they could have whatever no, i'll never i'll never i guess like, yeah chat saying i didn't do my research on sex trafficking true but i thought like when i was looking at the case i didn't look at all angles of it i only figured like okay like i thought moral choice was a big deal and like you were talking about with pearl like sure that's true i didn't actually see that interview mm -hmm. but you're right like even though they had a choice to do it or not what the tate brothers were doing it's like in that analogy i gave you they were the drug dealers at the end of the day even though the girls chose to do drugs those drug dealers are still illegal you know kind of yeah yeah yeah, the choice thing think, just doesn't, because again, like every single scam ever generally involves I, people having a choice. I don't right? want like sex trafficking, like I said, to be a certain thing or be legal and whatnot. I, I to my knowledge, that's why I came in here, mm -hmm. I didn't really know enough about that, but I thought if they withheld passports, that was like really illegal, you know? Um, That would be another thing, but like it also betrays like how trafficking works. Like if you're good at what you do, like it, you're not going to be doing like the craziest shit like drug dealers for instance like drug dealers aren't out here like murdering people indiscriminately all the time because holy f who wants to be involved in that it's one it's exhausting two it uses up a lot of bodies you actually lose people three it gets the cops on your ass like none other and four it just takes away time from what you want to be doing is selling drugs there's a theory i should be able to say this better or give you but there's a theory that like one of the reasons why crime fell a lot after the 90s is because gangs got better at cutting up territory and not fighting with each other all the time um it's just so yeah like if you want to do it goes with war too right like how war kind of came out where there's territory now and they're not fighting each other I don't maybe know, sure yeah somewhere. but like i'm saying like if you want to be good at like trafficking and pimping and all that shit, like it's not going to be through physical coercion all the time that's so it's so much work it's so sloppy it's not effective um there are better ways to control people and um one and i dude, we watched so many pimping videos on this channel around this time like one guy talked about how like the easiest way to pimp is to you literally just look at like maslow's uh hierarchy of memes memes holy shit. hierarchy of needs memes too maybe but like find out like <laughs> what does a girl need um what is she not getting filled right now in her life and then how can you fulfill it, right? So if a girl is lacking food security, you might be able to, you know, get her to, to, to pimp out for you with cheeseburgers, right? Or if a girl doesn't feel like she has safety so or security. So is just a value in general, right? It yeah. doesn't necessarily have to be you're money. Trying to okay, find yeah, a, yeah, you're point, trying yeah. to find a vulnerable girl and you're trying to give her something that she doesn't have right now in her life. And then through that relationship, you leverage that to get her to sell sexual things for you to profit off of. And what the Tates were doing is they were doing it romantically. That's the point of the lover boy method is I'm gonna find a girl that doesn't have a guy to love her right now or is like really looking for that type of connection and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her that way basically. I appreciate that destiny. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.